fuck Nicki Minaj. Are you Ooh. dumb? You a pink diamond chicken wing chain. Are you dumb? You had a leopard beehive on your head. Are you dumb? Are you forgetting that I pressed you before, bitch? Fuck Nicki Minaj. I fuck with your soul like she the well. You ain't the queen, I'll show you. Nah. Like on your ass and belly. No. I prove you lost the ready. They told you your whole career I'd come home and kill you, right? <laughs> I told you I wasn't talking about your dumb ass and look stupid. You literally got a dumb ass talking crazy. And we all know that you dumb ass. You get donkey at a date. Yeah, you dumb ass. Let's be honest. Yo, yo, what up? What up? What's going you are, on? You are listening to Toy Thug Show. I'm your host, Bronze, and I got my co-host with me. I got KP. Yes, sir. Great Miles. Yeah. What's going on, man? What you just heard was a snippet of Sheether by Remy Ma, and it was shots fired towards Nicki Minaj. What would you guys think of that? I heard a good chunk of it, and it was pretty raw. Um, yeah, I'd be. I'm really interested to see if uh, Nikki's gonna say something back. Um, yeah, you know, like, or is she just gonna be like, I don't even want to waste my time. I'm making money, and which I think she'll probably do because that was pretty, pretty strong right there on that. Um, she went in. Yeah, she did. <clears throat> you know, what do you think, Eric? I mean, honestly, I stopped listening after the butt shot stuff. I that was like that man. was the appetizer. Yeah, yeah, you gotta hear the whole I, thing. I probably should have went ahead. That's how I was like seven minutes. Seven long. minutes. I was yeah, like, I don't have non- time for yeah. this. Yeah, no, nonstop like bars on bars. Yeah, I was like, I don't have time for seven minutes. Yeah, <laughs> she she you gotta like, be uh like uh, especially nowadays. I think like you gotta be a real true head to listen to just lyrics. For seven minutes. For seven minutes. I I normally do, but for whatever reason, I, I didn't hear the whole thing. But um, yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, my I'm my really my hip hop head most of, status most is long gone. I'm not one of those anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'll always be one. But yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, hopefully, um, people that's listening, um, that listens to hip hop, you know, let us know what you guys think on if you guys are on IG, and uh up y'all yeah. so we got the live going what do you like with rap battles what do you guys think was one of the memorable rap battles in, in your uh, guys Nas opinion? Jay-Z comes to mind Man, that was big Lose. yeah the uh Jay-Z um Nas one that's probably the most famous one yeah but I think to me the one that really stood out to me was that LL Cannabis battle back oh, in the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. that Didn't that was... start off from the movie Space Jams? Was it Space Jams? It was a movie. It was a song on a track where a bunch of rappers got on like DMX was on there. Um yeah, Cannabis, LL Cool J, and Method Man. There was a lot of like the hot rappers at that oh, time. Okay, yeah. I remember back in the those days, man, Cannabis was like he had all that uh like underground pub back then, oh, like everyone, yeah. everyone was yeah. feeling that dude. Oh, yeah. like, like, didn't he drop like his... a really weak album or something like that? Like it was really, it wasn't that. Good. Yeah, yeah. His, his other albums were just all mediocre. Um, you know, he didn't have a lot of the the star power as yeah, far as yeah. like producers yeah. and, and whatnot. Um, so yeah, like, but he had he had it with the lyrics though. You know, you, it to make it, it takes two. You need the bars and you need you need yeah. beats. To, what what'd you guys to think about the Drake and Meek Mills? Oh. I mean that well it wasn't anything I mean, <laughs> yeah. Drake killed him. I Drake mean, killed him that pretty was, much. He was yeah. strategic. I mean yeah. Drake was you know, for everyone to kind of dis I mean him. Meek did get him, but like not really yeah, on that Undertaker weak. track. Yeah. It was so weak, man. It was, yeah. It was. Meek Meek's not that type of rapper to really, you know he's but that kind of like that, hype rapper that just like has that, that rhyme pattern. That's what he gets though, man. Yeah. Like he was he always talks trash. I mean he talks trash to his like Label mates, Wale. Yeah. And he, yeah. he got he got I bodied by an R&B, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He yeah. really did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, moving along, man. Um, today's Thursday, uh, March the 2nd. A lot of things going on. Yeah. Right now is, um, well, the midnight. Well, midnight is going to be Nintendo Switch. Yes, Switch? it is. Yeah, a lot of people's lining up right now. Yeah. We're thinking about. We're thinking about going. Uh, Are you gonna to go Best Buy after this? Yeah. Okay. But I, well, we'll see. <laughs> KP, uh, I heard you got the plug, oh, so we yeah, won't have yeah. to run out or camp tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try to go with y'all if y'all still go, because you know I'm 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 cool like that. I'm I'm. So I don't want to leave y'all hanging out y'all, there by yourselves. Y'all flipping it or what? No, no, no. Y'all we keeping we, it. We gonna do it a little uh, raffle. 
raffle giveaway during oh. Comic Palooza in Houston. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, all right. You know, this is for the fans. You know, whoever wants to, you know, get in oh. on it, we're gonna have a bunch yeah, of different we're, prizes. We're gonna have a lot of big prizes. Yeah, big fire prizes. prizes. Y'all, y'all oh. better watch out for that. So we'll we'll do some online stuff. Um, because we were thinking primarily we might do it just at the show, but uh, I think you know we might do some online online things. On, online raffle. My online raffle. If y'all want to get in, you know, we That's we're gonna have a new. bunch. We're gonna we're gonna have a bunch of different things. Yeah. Up, uh, so we'll let y'all know. Shout out to um, Dark Side seventy seven. Dark he won, side. He won last week, and he just got his uh, his giving giveaway uh, today. prize today. Man, um, I don't know if you guys have a chance to check out his Instagram, Dark Side since seventy seven. I'm, expect, I'm he expecting like some heat. He posted, uh, you know, the he the had goods. like a big thing with like Entertainment Weekly, right? No, actually, uh, exclusive. Uh, Exclusive Collective, the online magazine. Is that what you're talking about? No, he has something on Entertainment Weekly. Oh, yes. He like redid the, the, yes. the New Hope with the figures. Yes, he oh, did right. that. And they actually like, put it on their magazine. Yeah. All right. So, hey, um, people that's uh, tuning in to IG Live, just uh, you know, hang out with us, and we will announce the winner of this uh, Bruce Lee. And if you do not reply... How how fast are we giving them? Yeah, I, couple, that's what I'm thinking. Couple minutes or what? Maybe like a minute. A minute, that's it. Yeah. Ooh, cutthroat. Man. They're not there. One minute and you're done. Right. Next one. All right. I'm, and, I'm with that. Yeah. So you got one minute. You got one minute. But if you're man. not here, you have one minute. That's it. Yes. Now, this past weekend too, when we we're moving along, this past weekend was the Oscars. Yes, it was. And I, I got Cody right. So, um, every time I'm looking on, there's this thing, it's called Exodus, it plays all the, you know, you see all the new movies, and uh, I always see this picture, you know, this black dude, and I always skip it. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, it won. I, it actually, Moonlight, I didn't even pay attention. If you, unless you're under a rock, the whole uh, love thing at the end, where they announced the wrong, <laughs> they announced the wrong winner. Uh, he Martin. basically got the wrong envelope and didn't know what to do. Yeah, he pretty much was frozen in place at the time, and he just kind of like gave the envelope to the lady next to him, and she read what she saw, but it was for best actress, not best picture. So. Dang. So whose fault was was well, like actually, the person the, that the gave person him the envelope? Who gave him the envelope was at fault, and like there's like an accounting firm behind all that. They pretty much took oh, ownership yeah. of it. Wow. And they put the guy on blast, too. Like, the guy who gave him the envelope. Yeah. Yeah, they put him on blast. It was probably on coke. Uh, He was doing something. Like, he wasn't paying attention to something. I mean, that's a pretty big responsibility. Yeah. Especially for the best movie. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's looking at that. Yeah. You know, so. No, did you you get to watch the I watched Moonlight last night. Yeah. Uh, You know, it was was a good movie. Yeah. the, The visuals were very unique. Uh, you could tell that the director really knows his music, kind of like a Quentin Tarantino. Oh, so it had a lot of music. Yeah, uh, a lot of good music in there that kind of told the story along with the story itself. That, that was really good. Uh, I will say uh, it's not for everybody. <laughs> it's not for everybody. Yeah. It, it is. It is. It for is, the for yeah. the homophobes out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be real. That there is still that in the world, and it, it's not for you if you're one of those. Right. I, I thought it was a good movie, though. I thought it was beautifully told. But yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not for everyone. It's fair warning. W- without getting too much details, like in when he was growing up, he he was getting jumped. I, I saw. Yeah, some that, of the it's it's clips. it's told in three parts. Right. As a as a young kid, like a very young kid, a teenager, and then as an adult. Spoiler yeah. alert. Spoiler. <laughs> no, they, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's not a spoiler, but you know. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, like, it's three different actors, right? Yeah. But they basically. Uh, the mannerisms were still the same, so you could tell us the same character. I thought that was really yeah, cool. It was pretty consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was pretty good. cool. That's good. Uh, honestly, though, I'm not sure I would have sought it out if it had not won. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Not really my flavor, but exactly. Yeah. I mean, I skipped it. I mean, I don't know what the movie was. I thought it was a. I mean, yeah, I was guilty of judging the book by its cover. <laughs> you know, going through on the Cody, but yeah, I mean. Big ups and you know congratulations to oh no doubt know, I mean to that whole I mean team. a movie about a gay black guy winning Growing the Oscar up, that's probably yeah. not gonna happen ever again so yeah but he wasn't like the flamboyant type he looked like nah, he was like nah, a regular nah, dude nah, yeah no nah, nah. you know 
So especially when he grows up, he's like a regular guy. That's crazy. But uh, some people are already they watched um, Logan. Logan's yeah, coming out this weekend. It's supposed to be Man. the best X Men movie ever. From what I heard. Nah, that's yeah. I'm ready to watch it. I'm now, planning to I'm, watch it this weekend. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow. So. Yeah. But you, KP. My mic on. Oh, there you <laughs> go. I'm back. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely gonna watch it. You know, um, anybody see that uh, that NMD collab that we did? Oh yes. Ooh wee. Man, I guess we're gonna have to show that right now. Did y'all uh, see that on one of our posts it's earlier great. this week? Check out. It's uh, oh, done by Dank got Customs a, got a out of San Antonio. And everything. Yeah, this yeah. guy is legit. He, the uh, camera's over there. Look, Eric, got, we got wanna... a certificate and everything. Got a certificate of authenticity. Straight official, man. You see that? Uh, there you go. That stamp. That's some Lord of the Rings st- style. Boy, look at that. Look at the, the work into this thing, man. man. Wow. It does look cartoony, and I mean that bright colors. But and this he, is he this it. is the cartoon. That's the Wolverine signature sure. Wolverine. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me ask you this. It, it, during uh, you think. X Men would be like a live action movie would be corny if he had that suit on. Yes, probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. With the yellow. But that's the OG Wolverine, though. You know what yeah, I mean? That's the are, one. So, yeah, like, some. Yeah. These are really well done, man. Some just it, it doesn't translate. To, yeah. To yeah, for sure. Also, picture. Wolverine is like five foot three in the comic oh, books. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, that probably wouldn't. How old is uh, how tall is uh you Jackman? Six four <laughs> six <laughs> three. I mean, he's a Damn. tall dude. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that would really work if we had a little yeah, guy. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, they got to shrink everybody else. CGI. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, that that's a, a piece, you know, it's branding a, a toy oh, thug. Man. Um, It's it's actually my shoe size. <laughs> Nine and a half. That's the best uh, size for uh, Are you displaying. sure? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure that's the only for, shoe size? <laughs> for, for, the, for displaying. You, if, if you, you going to wear it during the, the, well, the Logan? Uh, <laughs> the, no, I'm not going to wear it, man. Um. Cause you're not, you're not we, gonna wear these? Nah, Why I think not? I think we're gonna raffle it off or something. Oh, we're um, oh wow, yeah, we we'll do something with it, I guess. Be, yeah, yeah, nice. that's it's we'd like a to give back piece. a toy thug. Yeah, we we might showcase it at, at Comic Palooza. You know, oh, yeah, 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 I would do glass that for container. sure. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And someone yeah. makes an offer you can't refuse. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if y'all don't have a pair of NMDs, man. The most comfortable shoe ever, I think. Yes. I feel uh, one of the most ultra comfortable boost, shoes. Ultra Boost. See, I have, I, I, I don't haven't, I haven't had a pair of Ultra Boost, but yeah. Well, no. do you have Ultra Boost? I do you have Yeezys? No, I do have Yeezys. My son had um Ultra Boost. Uh, it was comfortable. You know, it, it's pretty uh, close, man. Yeezy Ultra Boost. The EKTs yeah. I had on the other like two weeks ago. Right. It's pretty close, man. It's close. Yeah. But um, Ultra Boost is probably the most comfortable shoe you would say. I would say so. Yeah. The the EQT's uh, White Mountain Engineers. I can't even really sold out. Like, yeah, that. <laughs> and uh, I wanted those. You did? Yeah, I wanted the triple blacks. The triple blacks came out yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, out. the Ultra Boost. Yeah, I struck out yeah. on those. Yeah, of course. I, I thought uh, one of our uh, the local stores would would have that uh, EQT. Um, oh, they, yeah. Nobody got it. Stitch. Nobody. No. So I was surprised because he had the other releases for that oh we so, did yeah okay but oh well moving on to the next yeah, there's always you know, something release. else there's always yeah i mean we, everyone took the l on the zebras but no big matter. l yeah there'll be, there'll be another one in april so it'll be all right the average sale is uh 2500 what 2, yeah i looked at stock x and um yeah oh, it's, it's going for 2000 the zebras the zebra oh, easy 2500 wow. yes wow wow that's a lot that's a lot. Yeah, that might be one of the most expensive ones right off the bat. I yeah, because it was so rare. It's oh yeah, true that. Uh, yeah, we struck out. You know anybody that? No, I, mean, no, I don't I wish... know anybody who yeah. got those. Really? Wow. Yeah, but uh, let's see. Let me show you what. I guess we're gonna move on to our pickups of the week. I'll go ahead and start it off. All right. So well, that the NMDs was the first one, and the next one is this. It's not just this. This is just a comparison. Can, uh, show it on the camera there on IG Live. That's Doctor Strange, right? Remove this box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Oh, that came out on, on Blu-ray, by the way. Yeah. Now check this guy out. This version out. This is a custom head piece um, done by um, Shelf. I forgot his name. Cool dude. He, he's done Wolverine. 
you got another coming up but you check out the detail it's way way better than the the default yeah it is it's got like a like a yelling face on them and the hair is all crazy yeah it, it's so detailed do you still have any of these in stock or what no it, it's like limited oh, okay he ha- he has someone else uh painting them oh man. yeah and he he was at uh, designer con uh that I guess it goes on um, towards the end of the year. He's giving the H town. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's repping. Shelf sculptor, I believe that's the guy. If you guys want to follow him on uh, Instagram, and yeah, that's this yes. one. This one. Yeah, you just uh, custom head. Yeah, pop the head and then replace it. Now, how with, hard was it to pop it off? Not hard. Just just pull it out. Sometimes it's kind of hard. Yeah, Marvel Legends is pretty easy. That's why there's a lot of customizers. It's a uh, pretty good uh, customized uh customizer community yeah there's a, there's a guy he's like he runs a tattoo shop in thailand yeah and he made like a an old luke skywalker head really and like before like they made a massless kylo he made a kylo head it, is cool. it ba- bald with a scar on his face no 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 okay. no scar but uh yeah it came out i think before like even the movie came out actually really so he did it that's based off pictures yeah I was trying to pull out the video, but there was a special edition of that um, custom uh, paint job. Uh, if you shine a black light, um, this doesn't have it, but um, his eyes turns white, and then there's a third eye. Oh, really? Yeah. That's dope. Dude. That's paint, crazy. I'm like, that's and some... I thought I had it. Yeah. like, oh. Old boy. That's who I'm talking about. Urban Spidey, yes. Old boy. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up later, but yeah, that that was dope. All right. Ooh, we, oh, we nine point eight. Yeah, this finally came came in the mail. Uh, I talked about it last week. Let me uh, get this out of the way. Excuse me, Mister. This Dr. nine point eight signed by Chris Claremont. Let me. Uh, Man, nine let, eight. You let me, just, you let just me let had people... this laying around, right? Uh, it was at my mom's house. I mean, nine eight. That is like yeah. crispy, crispy. Man. It is. I was surprised. Yeah, I was thinking it was going to get a high by just looking at it, and you know, I'm not really a. <laughs> You know, I don't really gr- know how to grade comic books, but I was just, man, it, it was a really good looking book. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, yeah, that's that's just gonna be in my office. So how do you how do you get get a ten? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, what is a ten? What is a ten, what is a mean, 10 yeah. if this is a nine point eight? And it has to come straight out the press, man. And it's like, straight... how do they know though? If it, and to me, this looked like it came straight out of the press. Yeah, it's. I, I don't know what what ten would be. Yeah, right. Yeah, so man, it, they bro. would it would have to be coming straight out the press, and then they would have to seal <laughs> it just like that. I got you. So yeah, nine point eight is pretty much yeah. yeah. That is crispy, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud so, of that. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be worth some money one day. Yeah, <laughs> one one day is worth money. Yeah, no, I know it's worth but worth money now, but you know, yeah, the milli range. So yeah, that was the theme, Wolverine theme, Logan theme this week. So yes. KP, hopefully your mic doesn't go out, but uh, no, I think what, it will. You got any uh, pickups this week? Um. You know what? I didn't. I didn't pick up. Well, you know, we went uh, pop hunting earlier today. Um, oh, I saw that. And uh, I did pick up the Farah, um, the green Farah for the Emerald City Comic Con. Nope. So uh, that and was one pickup I did. Overwatch is are like one of the top sellers. Oh, they got a big old gorilla. Dot com. Yeah, you never played Overwatch? Yeah, nah, man, it's pretty. It's pretty legit, man. The, the way they do the game, how they make you know, they really make it a team aspect. He's where got each... it's got glasses on. Yeah, <laughs> there's smart. a bunch of different different characters. Oh, and oh, uh, Captain America. Bronze picked this up. I didn't pick this up, but uh, the Comic Con uh, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Captain America, the old school with the, uh, the old school World, shield. World War Two, World War Two shield and hat. <laughs> oh yeah, Th- these were the. What else did you get? Oh, the Upside Down 11 and Barb, Emerald Com- uh, City Comic Con exclusive. We did pick that up. Where'd you get this one at? This one, though, is that Hot Topic? Yep. Oh, we. So the, they might still have some more, but uh, we, well, they have a lot? When we... uh, not that much. Not at that store. Yeah, but I'm sure they're running low. And last week we had oh, the... Man, I, I want that. <laughs> we had the Sage Naruto, but this time we got... Six Path Naruto. Yeah. Ooh wee. Yeah, I've been watching that show, man. I mean, every before I go to sleep, I will probably have to pick it back up, man, cuz I stopped. Yeah. There's a website or there's a website that shows uh, you know, which episodes to skip. Are filler or not? Yeah. yeah I probably have to check that out. Yeah. I, I gave up on it. I did too. But uh yeah, I'm back on it. I'm back on the train. Back on it. 
So how um how many how many episodes back are you um, before you catch up? Well, I kind of skipped to the three hundreds. It's, it's going up to four uh, four something. I'm at three forty seven, and it said uh, to skip after that episode to three sixty two. That's a lot of episodes. That's, that's why I gave up because there's so yeah. much filler. Yeah. Man. So um, like, what do you mean by filler? Like why? Because like, how it's how it works in Japan is like it's based on a, a manga, right? Mm-hmm. And the manga is pretty much action packed, start to finish. Yeah. So the studio, they get the rights to the manga. Mm-hmm. And they start making it. Well, if the manga's still going on as they make it, they catch up to it. Oh, okay. So they have to like put in what what's known as filler episodes. Yeah. To, to let Is the it like a backstory in. of different different uh, characters? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's just like a stupid story, like yeah. just like a Dragon Ball one where like they go shopping for a car. Yeah. I mean, that's oh, what. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have something like that? I don't know about on Naruto, but on well, DBZ, no, there was definitely DBZ. like they they went car shopping. One. Oh wow! Really? Like. What did he get? I don't even remember. <laughs> a Honda Accord, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's that's what that's Honda what a, Accord that's Cyan. A filler episode. Yeah, I got you. I got you now. That's dope. So, like, it doesn't add anything to the series at all. You're just kind of more or less wasting time, more or less, unless like you just really love the show. That's why I gave up. Yeah, because like it was like right in the middle of like the best fight, and then like okay, we have to pause to tell the story. Like, nah, I don't want to. You know, yeah, I'm out. So, that sucks. Yeah. So yeah. how 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 many episodes of that? Before it gets back to the main story. That's, what's, that's why it's so... Fr- you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, I used to watch it week to week. So yeah. I would like, wait, okay, one week I get it. And then, I, okay, filler. And the next week, more filler. So I got frustrated. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So what else do we got for pickups this week? Well, speaking of Wolverine, I have... Keep the theme. This Marvel Legends, the three and three quarter scale. That is... a. Uh, X-23 as Wolverine. Now, X-23 is a clone of Wolverine. Uh, speaking of Logan. Is that what, what, what she yeah, is? The little girl will She's be X-23, X-23, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, man. As you can tell, she only has two claws instead of the traditional three claws. So this is the uh, X-23 Wolverine. Does anybody know the, the backstory of uh, how like she became, how, how she, was, she got adamantium and, and all that? I think the same way, right? The same way? I mean, she's a clone. So, I don't... what about y'all? Ig, y'all, y'all know the backstory of X twenty three? Let us know in the I'm comments. Sure, I'm sure somebody knows. Somebody knows. So, moving on, uh, X Men Wave two Marvel Legends has come out at Target, and I can only find these two. First up is uh, Sunfire. You, and then actually, he's a Japanese guy. So, big up. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oop. Dazzler. 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 Ooh, we... I had a couple of ep- um, issues from her. Um, I wasn't a real big fan, but what was her power again? Like she, lights, she, she, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like Jubilee, right? Or a little bit, a little bit yeah. okay. Has similar powers, Jubilee, and yeah, like, like a clubber. Now Disco. we got here's a clubber. Yeah, actually, the one everyone's <laughs> looking up. for out of turn this up. wave is Cyclops. So if you find a Cyclops, the powers turn up. You are a lucky man because that is pretty hard to find right about now. But I have really? noticed most Marvel Legends become pretty easy to find. As the months go on, so yes. don't freak out and buy it on eBay or something like that. Like, just be patient, wait it out. Right, you'll find a good price for it. So, I mean, like with the uh, Deadpool and uh, Black um, yeah, those Panther. those were like fifty bucks right out the yeah. gate, and then they came way down. So. Yeah, because money Hasbro that. just like flooded it. And yeah, so yeah. So now we have some exclusives. We have more exclusive pops. I like this right here. This is a Walmart exclusive Star Wars three pack from Revenge of the Sith. You have a Tarful, who's a Wookiee, Utapau clone trooper, and the Emperor. Man, the Emperor is sick. Yeah, that's pretty clean. Got the, got the lightning coming out of the fingers. Got the Force lightning. And last but not least, we have Rick Grimes. That, that is a Walgreens exclusive. What? Yeah, Walgreens actually sells a lot of action figures now. So if yeah, no, you're looking for something, like yeah. check out Walgreens. They have exclusive yeah. pops. I got the Punisher uh, Jim Lee. Yeah, yeah, Punisher. with the headband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, got I that. did pick up the General Grievous like a month ago, and I heard that one was pretty, pretty rare. Now hey. like, that's pretty, you know, a lot of people are trying to get that. So this is like, um, you guys watch the show, right? Oh, yeah, I watched the show. So, I haven't yeah. caught up yet. Remember but... that scene where he like freaked out in Alexandria, he had blood on his face, and was like yelling at the people. Yeah, yeah. This, this is from that scene. You can see there's like an Let alternate see. head. Let me see. The bloody face. Oh shoot! Yeah, that's dope. So that. Like you can just pop his head and replace it with the bloody, That's sick. with the bloody Re- head. reenact that scene, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I want to get on the diorama game. Speaking of diorama, um, 
I we're, we're gonna try to feature every week. We're gonna um, feature an Instagram account, and our pick is Extreme Sets. That's uh, Extreme underscore Sets. What do they do? They make some badass diorama. Uh, they're like featured in a lot of like toy art. <clears throat> featured them, and a lot of these uh, dope photographers. Oh, okay. We got an unboxing. Oh, you know what? You should have. Um, oh, oh, I should have done this shoot. on camera. My bad. Yeah. No, that's cool. Wow. Speaking I thought you of, had the uh, PS4. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Speaking of video games, this is a pretty big game came out this week. What is this? Is that the um, this collector's edition of Horizon Zero I Dawn? I did hear about this game. What the man. game was already out. Yeah, and there's actually a statue in here. Right, let me go ahead and crack it open. Oh man. Oh, we we're doing it live. That is dope. Are we still live on IG? Oh, there we go. We're still here. Have you have you played the game? Or no, I guess you, you haven't played the game yet. You're about to play it t- <laughs> tonight, Eric? Yeah, not yet. Oh, dang. So it it comes with a statue? Yeah, from a Gentle Giant. Oh, Gentle Giant. Shout out to Gentle Giant. I got a, a couple of their figures, uh, like a Bo- Boba Fett um, remake of the original, and it's like 20 inches long. Or something. <laughs> really? Yeah. Man, so what is this game like compared to? Like, what 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 can you compare it to? I I've seen previews like and it's, he's like fighting like big robot dinosaurs kind of thing. Word. Yeah, so here is the game. Is this only okay. on PS4? Yes, PS4 only. exclusive. PS4 exclusive. Another reason to get a PS4. There's the steel book game. What? Here's the art book it comes with. Pretty cool. There's actually a lot of cool art in this. Check that out. And let me bust out this statue right quick. No, the Bruce drawing is still going on. Yeah, so get in your entries while you can. And again, you have to be present when we announce the winner. You have one minute, one minute only. And we're keeping to that. Uh-oh, they all waiting. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> feel, uh, look, I'm all nervous now. <laughs> I feel like Warren Beatty at the Oscars. I don't know, what to, I don't know what to do. Her name is Alois. It's the main character of the, of the game. And that looks mad detailed. Is it ceramic or wow? I'm not sure what this is made of. I'm not oh. gonna I'm not gonna open up the rest of it, but I gotta take this home. That's there she crazy. is. Alloy. Uh, for for those that's just listening, we're we're gonna take some shots of this and post it on you know, IG there you go. on our blog. Nice so. and centered. She's beautiful. <laughs> she reminds me of that chick on um on Game of Thrones. Ingrid or uh Egret. Egret. You know nothing. Right? You know nothing, you know Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah, she's got red hair too with the bow and arrow. Right. See? She she shot that man. Yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. Um... But then she got shot. Yeah. By that little punk ass kid. Right. Who then st- stabbed Jon Snow? Little bitch. Boy, when Game of Thrones comes back, this show's gonna be all about Game of Thrones, man. Like no, the seriously. entire time. Yeah. Like the there's, first there's so much, minutes. So much stuff to talk about with Game of Thrones. So, but yeah, this is uh, what was her name again? Alloy. Alloy. Yeah. Okay. You. Yeah. From the game Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn. That is sick. And I will be playing this tonight. Uh, uh, to pick it up. If you want to pick it up, I believe it's sold out, but you might oh. want to give it a shot on Amazon. It was 120 but if you're a Prime member, it comes down to $95. So okay. Check it out. Look, look for it. It might still be available. It might not because it came out on Tuesday, so you don't know, but it's worth a shot looking it up. If you just want the statue, I think they're going for like 60 bucks on eBay, so. All right, so I think we're going to start. We're going to go ahead and do the giveaway. Um, this We're going to pretty much do the same thing. Um, I'll, I'll let Eric do it again. We're gonna, he's going to uh, you know, pick one randomly. Uh, I want to call this person out. If they're listening right now, you made yours black and white. You're pretty much guaranteed I'm not going to pick that one. Just <laughs> FYI. Do not change the image, all right? And I am picking this one. All right. Mark Walker photo. Are you present? Mark Walker photo. No. I don't believe so. I haven't seen his name pop up on here. I don't know if we should give a minute. That might be too long, huh? I believe I believe a minute is too long. We said be present during the thing. Oh, he's here. Guys, I'm here. Mark Walker photo. You won. Bro. Wow. You Congrats, won. dude. You won, bro. All right, man. Man, glad that you you know you stayed tuned, you know, to watch the the watch IG. The, well, IG most line. of it anyway. So yeah. congratulations, Mark <laughs> Walker photo. So yeah, we'll we'll uh, you can DM us on uh, the Toy Thug Show Instagram. Uh, give us your email and 
address. And again, if you're listening, don't change the image. I'm not picking you. If you, <laughs> if you, if you change it, I'm not picking you. But when I saw that too, I was like, oh man. He's trying to Why stand out. Like, yeah, you stand out, so yeah, I don't get you, man. Yeah, you can't. You can't hate on that. But I, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you can't knock the hustle. But yeah, we're not gonna pick a black and white <laughs> original. So I think that's pretty much it for this week, man. We're, Eric, you got anything else to say? No, we had a you wanna... pretty solid week this week. Good pickups. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna be going to the rodeo, Texas, uh, Houston rodeo cookoff tomorrow. Oh damn! Yeah, so it, that's gonna be something maybe, else. It'll be my first time. Uh, yeah, I'll be uh, posting uh, on, on my personal uh, bronze, B-R-A-W-N-Z uh, story. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be lit. And I, yeah, so tonight, I might, if I, if I don't get the switch tonight, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get some sleep because I'm going to be working, waking up early tomorrow and then heading to the event. Yeah, I'm going to be mad tired. Um, no, just Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about you, KP? What you got plans? Um, what what do I have plans? Just grinding, man. Trying to trying to chase the dream. Um, yeah, I'm probably do, get some work done. Um, at the office this weekend. Oh, read uh, a couple books that I did pick up. Um, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss and uh, Unbreakable by uh, Tony Robbins. If, uh, any entrepreneurs out there, check out those books if you um you know if you want to get your hustle up. But, yeah, I'm just going to be grinding down here while you go party. Cool, guys. We'll see you next week. We out. See you.